Hey everyone, my name is Justin from justicegood.com and in this video I'm going to share the top three concepts that you should understand in order to be good at Photoshop. Alright, so this video is assuming that you do have a basic knowledge of how all the toolbars and some of the menus work, so you understand the toolbars and that is very important itself, but we're going to be talking more about concepts that are fundamental to understanding Photoshop. So the first one is layers and layer ordering. So as you can see, this is our layers panel and we have three different layers here and the way that Photoshop handles layers and your canvas is kind of like a sandwich from a top down view. So what I mean is this is your first layer, this is your second layer, this is your third layer and your canvas that you see is all from a direct top down view. So if you have your first layer and then your second layer and your third layer and you're, you're looking at your canvas all you're going to see is your top layer even though that stuff is underneath it. So understand how layers and layer ordering works that's really fundamental and then the next concept to understand is blending modes in between those layers. When you have three different layers Photoshop's most powerful capability is the ability to have these complex blending modes and opacities in between them. So I have this flower layer on top of this hand and right now it's on normal blending mode at 100% opacity so all you see is the flowers. But I can set it to a variety of different modes to blend so for example if I select lighten you'll see some of the bubbles from underneath come through and what's happening is in this specific blending mode Photoshop is comparing every pixel of color and it's only going to show whichever one is lighter. So in this case the flower image is generally lighter than the bubbles but you could see some areas where the dark parts of the flowers didn't end up being lighter than the bubbles so that's why those are showing through. On the other end you can do darken and Photoshop will compare every two pixels and it's only going to show which one is darker. So now you see most of the flowers disappear except for those dark parts. I'm going to make a video going more in depth on blending modes and explaining them but it's all based on color codes and kind of like color multiplication and comparison. So that's blending modes and on top of that you can have opacities. So you could have it 100% visible, 90, 70, 50, all the way to 0% visible. So if I have this at normal 50% what we're going to see is half of this image and half of the image underneath. So that's really important to understand the concept of layers and the fact that you can blend the layers together in different ways. Now the third thing, and this was in no particular order, is layer masks and clipping masks. So just masking in general. So since our layers are all kind of like in a sandwich mode and we're looking at them from the top, Imagine that the top layer was a piece of Swiss cheese with holes in it. So you'd be able to see the middle because of the holes. So in my case, if I take this third layer and I go to layer, layer mask, and I create a new reveal all layer mask, you see that this white square shows up and that's the layer mask. So that square is telling Photoshop uh, anything that's black you're going to hide and anything that's white you're going to show. So if I take my brush tool and I just have a large round brush and I default my colors to black, when I paint a black circle and make sure I have my layer mask selected, so when I paint black on my layer mask, it's going to create a hole and conceal this layer. So if I create some holes here, you can see that we're telling Photoshop, show everything that's white and hide everything that's black. So now we've got our layer, except we created a layer mask that has holes in it, so we're able to see through to what's underneath. So I can see through to the second image. If I was to have some type of blending mode on the second image, we'd see through to the combination of this whatever else is underneath. Now that's a layer mask, but another really important masking technique is a clipping mask. A clipping mask is where you tell Photoshop to use the contents of one layer to clip what's underneath. So in this case we have the word mask and we have the image of this girl and the cat. If I go to layer, create clipping mask, Photoshop is kind of going to take the letters 
okay? And it's gonna stamp on the image, but everything that isn't within that shape is going to fall through, and all we're gonna get is the image in the shape. So if I create clipping mask, you can see that now I have the cat and the girl within the text layer. So those are just some of the most fundamental techniques in my opinion. Definitely check out my channel and subscribe for more videos if you wanna see some of these techniques in action. But in my opinion, if you're trying to understand and get better at Photoshop, you can pretty much create anything with, with these basic concepts and almost any technique you can think of is a combination of these basic concepts, especially layer masking. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you had any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below, and I'll see you guys next time.